Okay, hello there, family. <laughs> so, Jenna here. Uh, I'm here with... Laura. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Laura. And today we have a special video planned. So, of course, we're filming together. And then we're gonna... <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> and we're also going to film a video where... <laughs> called Urban Legends. Yeah, we're gonna be reading Urgent Lovins. They're gonna be urgent. They're gonna be legends. Urgent. Come here. She's gone. <laughs> Where'd she go? Oh, should we read Bloody Mary Bloody first? Mary. And then we should reenact them and actually do them. Yes. Okay. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, number one urban legend, Bloody Mary. This is mm, this is a legend for sure. Almost everyone knows what Bloody Mary is. Yeah. So this is what it says on Cosmopolitan.com. This is their re like their write up. Okay, hands up if you've ever walked into a bathroom, turned the lights on and off, and chanted Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary in front of a mirror. Me. Because apparently, this is how you summon your girl, Mary. <laughs> your girl. And the good news is that sometimes Mary's nice. Mm. And the bad news is she often appears as a corpse covered in blood. So, yeah. <laughs> That's literally <laughs> what wrote these up. Yeah. So, if you ever played Bloody Mary and you really thought you saw her, don't worry. You are most likely hallucinating. Whatever. She's real. <laughs> She's real. Which apparently can happen when you stare into a mirror for too long. And the alternative is you're just seeing the spirit of a dead girl. Whatever. Either way. Whatever. Ready? I don't really know how to do it. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> um, basically, well, technically what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to like, there's a bunch of ways you can do it, but you can like, you can either flicker the lights on and off, but we don't need that, we have candles. Or you can close your eyes and spin around three times while you're saying Bloody Mary. Or you can just say Bloody Mary three times. That's what we're gonna do. Okay. Is that at the same time? Ready? Yeah. No, hold on. I saw. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. <laughs> I think it's gonna growl. Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody <laughs> Mary. <laughs> <laughs> you can't your parents with any news. Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. <laughs> it's all like I like you. Okay, we have to just look at ourselves and Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. I was staring at you. I was <laughs> staring at you. Okay, ready? Blood. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody Mary. Okay. <laughs> Bloody. Hold on. Okay. Think about food. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. <laughs> Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. <laughs> Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Okay. All right. Let's blow them out. On three. One, two, three. <sighs> Bloody Mary. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Can I read this one? Yes. Okay, I got the chupacabra. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> ah, yes, the chupacabra. Tis a legendary cryptide, Ooh. <laughs> which just means an animal that we can't prove exists, like a lake monster. Rumored to meander. Meander? <laughs> <laughs> Why was my laugh like that? <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the chupacabra's emerging from. <laughs> I just yipped. She just turned into like chupacabra. 
sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. <Hey. laughs> Rumor to meander around the southwest in Puerto Rico. This deranged looking furry friend is said to drink the blood of goats and other unlucky livestock. And there's no way you want to be caught near one. Apparently, the chupacabra has been doing this thing, or his thing, since the night. <laughs> 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 I can't read. <laughs> Since the 90s, when eight sheep were found drained of blood in Puerto Rico, a few months later, a whole slew of farm animals were killed. And after that, people all over the world started citing reports of their livestock having two puncture wounds and zero bodily fluids. That could also be a vampire. I have a, a chupacabra wound right here. Boom, boom. I see it. Let me. Is my chupacabra bite. And it's proof that he's real. <laughs> So, basically, the rest of this says that there's been a ton of legitimate research about whether or not the chupacabra is real. And the answer is no-ish. In real life, sightings are probably just coyotes with mange. But still, watch your goats. Especially this goat. Oh, goat man? Uh-uh. I've never heard of the goat man. Goat man is supposed to be really bad. Like, you're not supposed to talk about him or he'll <coughs> show up. Well, well, here we are. You don't know of Goatman? Oh, that's me. Perfect. The half-human and half-goat hybrid monster who trolls around Maryland? Time to get acquainted because oh. the dude Kitty Wampus is in the shot. <laughs> get in there. Oh, he just chewed on the mic. Well, you will hear it and I'll go... Come here. <laughs> <laughs> Quit eating me, Kitty! <laughs> he can be in it. According to urban legend, the axe wield welding. Yeah. Don't know. Goat man used to be a scientist until an experiment involving ghosts turned him into a goat. And he started murdering everyone with his axe. Whatever. And the goat man probably doesn't exist in real life, but considering how many times goats have come up on this list so far, I'm going to go ahead and say they're all killers, and I may, in fact, meet my end at the hands of this one. Mothman. We. <laughs> it's not this gonna start laughing. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I did. Right now we're in a Heard closet. All right, and so this is supposed to be one of the scariest games. Yes. Um, we're going hardcore, and Laura's gonna read through the instructions. Um, this is from Freaked.com. So this game has been deemed the scariest of all paranormal games because you are not just summoning a spirit to your house, you're summoning an actual demon. In order to make this happen, you need to stand inside of a closet and make sure all of the lights are, like, there's no lights. So meaning you're in complete darkness. Once you're in the dark, you need to hold up an unlit match and say, show me the light or leave me in the darkness. If you hear someone whispering in your ear, light the match immediately, but if you fail to do so, it's said that a demon will drag you into a deep, dark abyss that you cannot escape from. This could also happen if you look around when you hear the whispering instead of lighting the match right away. Once the match is lit, you have to walk out of your closet without looking back. You have to make sure that the match remains lit and it doesn't blow out or anything. From that day forward, whenever you go into your closet, you have to make sure that there is a light always on because the demon you had summoned now haunts your closet and waits for the day there is no light to snatch you and bring you to the dark abyss. And that is why we're playing in Jenna's mom's closet, so it doesn't get <laughs> Sorry, Jenna. Sorry, mom. <laughs> I'm going to turn this off because we have to be in complete darkness. Complete darkness. So, okay. Um, and it didn't say anything if you didn't hear a voice. Do you light a match or do you leave or what? I'd say maybe just light, light a match before you leave. That's just our to make match. Sure. Yeah. So it's going to be dark and we're literally just going to go... So if you see the light, just know bad things happened. Yep. Or we'll announce that we're leaving, and then we'll You're going to have to open the door. Okay, so we'll let the demon get Jenna. Okay. So, I have to... Okay, do you remember what we have to say? No. Show me the light or leave me in darkness, I think. Alright, just one time? Show me the light or leave me in the darkness. Yes. Alright. Okay, so I'm... Okay, so it's going to be black. Alright, just know it's going are. hardcore. I'm already hearing things. <laughs> okay. Okay, so, I know it. I know it. So are you gonna say I think just one of us should say it. Oh, I think we should both say it. Oh really? Yeah. So show, show me, me the light, light or, or leave, leave me in the darkness. darkness. <laughs> Did you hear it? 
never looking back again. <laughs> My sister's <clears throat> afraid of moths, so we used to always um, bring up Mothman, like this big moth is gonna fly towards you. Okay, so let's read about the Mothman. Kinda like Goatman, but with moths. Most people are somewhat familiar with this buggy buddy thanks to the legendary <laughs> Richard Geary movie. <laughs> Something Sorry, to say. I was just remembering kitties still in the corner. He's yeah. like, <laughs> he's really attacking. Um, but if you need a reminder, Mothman is a man who is also a moth. Okay, he lives in West Virginia and first showed up during the '60s when several folks claimed to see him. So is Mothman real? Who knows? But look, if you want to believe there's a giant moth person roaming around the South, Godspeed. More likely though, this is simply a big bird. Okay, now we have the liquor. Cleanse yourself is cute, doggo. <laughs> okay, this is a personal favorite urban legend of mine due to how completely messed up it is. Okay. The story goes on that one night a girl and her dog were home alone. Oh, I think I know this one. Uh-oh. So she and her dog... Uh... <clears throat> oh, she had her dog... <laughs> oh, I was like... <laughs> she had her dog sleep under her bed. She and her she dog scared. sleep... <laughs> <laughs> they will sleep under her bed. Okay, which is actually relatable, to be honest. In the middle of the night, she woke up to the sound of dripping coming from the bathroom. Mm. But she was too freaked out to get up and check what it was. So naturally, she put her hand down and underneath her bed for comfort, she was reassured that her dog... And the dog gave her a lick. Gave her a good lick. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> the next morning, she walked into the bathroom, only to find her dog slaughtered and strung up from the shower rod. His blood was dripping onto the floor. On the wall, someone had scrawled the message, Humans can lick too. It's unclear if the licker is still out there licking, but let's hope not. Ooh, yeah, I, th I knew that nasty. one. Cause you know those little books that we that you could use to read and they're scary like, stories. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So now we're gonna prove <laughs> that kitty is the liquor. <laughs> <laughs> He's a human. We're gonna prove these urban legends to be true, and we're gonna do them. Yep. We're gonna lick it <laughs> <laughs> under my bed. We are. Right I'll just now. have to go on my tiptoes and lick you. <laughs> Okay, for our last, <laughs> for our last thing, we are going to be doing the classic Charlie Charlie. So we're outside, look at this beautiful lighting. Yep, Frodo. All right, so you explain what we do. Sorry, um, I mean cheddar cheese. cheese. <laughs> um, basically, you ask yes or no questions and Charlie will answer by moving this pencil to yes or no. And if he doesn't do it, then he just doesn't like you. Yep. And that's it. Okay, let's do Here it. Here we go. You want to ask the first question? Sure. Okay. Let's Wait. look at this. Okay. All right. Charlie, Charlie, are you here? I think it moved a little bit. What kind it, of cheese did you eat? Pepper Jack, like you see, it's not perfectly yeah. set up. And, and it went to no. no. <laughs> so that's a little strange. So. I'm going to balance it again and get it to... I'm shaking with, with fright. Okay, so Jenna, you're going to have to do that. <laughs> I'll hold the camera. Okay. How'd you do that so quick? Shaky fingers. <laughs> Doesn't even make sense. Okay, you ask the next one. Okay. Charlie, Charlie. Did we summon a demon in Lisa's closet? It kind of moved. Ooh, two. We summoned a demon. <laughs> It moved to that. That's okay. one of the write-ups. We summoned a demon <laughs> and it moved to it. So how many should we ask? Two more? Two more? We each get one more question. Alright. Um, 
Charlie, Charlie, are we going to die tonight? <laughs> you heard it here first. We're gonna die from Charlie. Charlie, Charlie, did we just no. eat uh, cheese? We gotta go. <laughs> Try to press this to end it. It's a front, like, um, <laughs> it's this thing.